Hello, in this video, we're going to compute the cosecant of 2 pi over 3. Let's work through this solution. So the first thing you want to do is you want to recall that the cosecant of x is equal to 1 over the sine of x. So in this problem, we really have to compute the sine of 2 pi over 3. So if you look at the cosecant of 2 pi over 3, this is equal to 1 over sine 2 pi over 3. So if we can compute sine 2 pi over 3, we can use this formula to get the answer. So let's go ahead and focus on that. So to compute the sine of 2 pi over 3, you first want to think about where 2 pi over 3 is on the unit circle. So you can find its reference angle. So this is 0. This is pi, and we're going to think of pi as a number over 3 because that will help us determine where the angle 2 pi over 3 is on this unit circle, which just pretend there's a circle here. So here we go. Boom. It's going to be here because this is 2 pi over 3, and it's less than 3 pi over 3. The reference angle is the positive angle made with the terminal side of this angle here and the x-axis. So this angle here, which I've drawn in blue, is the reference angle. And that angle is pi over 3. And this matters because now we know that the sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. And so it turns out that the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same except for possibly a sign change. So the sine of 2 pi over 3, it's either going to be this or it's going to be the opposite of this. So again, recap. You first draw your angle, find its reference angle, which is the positive angle made with the terminal side of your angle and the x-axis. It's easy to see it's pi over 3 because if you could subtract 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3, you get pi over 3. You get the sine of pi over 3. And then again, the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same except for possibly a sine issue. So how do we resolve the sine issue? Well, again, the unit circle looks like this. And every ordered pair on this circle has the form cosine theta comma sine theta. So in our case, 2 pi over 3 is over here. Right, It's right here. And it's positive because it's the y-coordinate. Sine is the y-coordinate, so that's positive. So the answer is simply going to be this. So when you plug that back into your formula, you end up with 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. But that's really 1 times the reciprocal of that, so 2 over root 3, which is just 2 over the square root of 3. So that would be... The answer to the question, that would be the cosecant of 2 pi over 3. You could also rationalize your answer. What that basically means is that you multiply by 1 in a clever way in order to eliminate the square root in the denominator. So if you have 2 over root 3 and you multiply by root 3 over root 3, that's just like multiplying by 1. So this is 2 times root 3. And then root 3 times root 3 is just 3. So that's another acceptable answer for this problem. Kind of a long problem. It's a lot to go through. Uh, but that's how you do it, right? You have to know or find the value of the sine of 2 pi over 3. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.